Hey, um, welcome back. And today we're looking at the year 2023 in knives. So these are all the knives. Almost all of them. I've given some away. But these are almost all the knives I bought in 2023. Almost all of them. And we're going to be taking a closer look at these knives and talking about them a little bit. Maybe uh, see which ones were your favorites and um, which ones are my favorites. My favorites will surprise you, I think. But um, anyhow, if you'd like to see more about that, check out the video. Did you squirt Batman? Yeah. All right, so if a picture was worth a thousand words, what would this say to you? Okay, don't answer that. I realize I have a problem. So there's about 84, 85, something like that on the table, plus a few more that I've given away. I probably, I don't know, I probably bought uh, 99s uh, this year and added them to my collection. Uh, but I've also given some away, so uh, I can't remember how many I give away. But, you know, I've probably given about 10 away. And um, one thing you can tell about this video is it's kind of eclectic, right? So whole bunch of different stuff. And that's kind of how my mind works. I've always got a lot of different things running through my mind. And um, when it comes to knives... I like all kinds of knives. I like big ones. I like little ones. I like traditional knives, modern folders, fixed blades. I like them all. And so I buy them all. But I think you can tell overall there's probably more traditional knives here than anything. And uh, so that's probably, you know, what I collect the most. Well, without a doubt, it's what I collect the most is the traditional knives. But, um... We're gonna we're gonna uh, take a little bit, look at these knives, and um, pull out some ones that were most popular uh, from the views, the number of views that were on the knives themselves. All right, the most viewed video I had was 673 people watch this Latahoochee Jack. Right here by uh, Rosecraft Blades. Beautiful knife. One of my favorites. Next after that was this knife. Around 500. That's kind of surprising. Four blade uh, sow belly from Jim Parker. After that was this knife. It's the bolt knife for case this year. Four Blade Congress with 400. Let's see. The French Broad Jack by Rosecraft. I uh, got 353. And this knife, which is a Culpepper, Copper Culpepper, uh, pulled in 300 views. That's kind of surprising. Um, next we'll look at the shorts. What are the best knives in the shorts? And they're different, by the way. Alright, the most viewed short I had. Uh, 2,000 people tuned in to look at this incredible um, Sabivi um, shredded carbon fiber and, and copper. That kind of surprised me. And uh, I really like this knife, but uh, it was kind of surprising. Um, the next most watched was 1,900 people tuned in to look at this Boker. Just a plain little Boker trapper. But man, it pulled in the views. Um, after that, Boker 1.9. 1.7 was this Savivi. Uh, this is a relatively new knife I got. Nice Damascus rubbed uh, brass, not copper brass, but uh, one one point seven tuned in for that one. 
Uh, 1.7. What was next? I'm trying to remember. Hold on. Okay, sorry. 1.5. Tuned in to uh, look at this uh, trapper from Cole. Big old knife. Really cool. Awesome. I just love the job they did on that um, bone stack. Looks awesome. Really nice knife, too. No gaps. This knife is a really well made knife. Um, and in 1000, uh, tuned in for this M3 bayonet. Pretty cool bayonet. It's, it's not original, you know, it's just a uh, replica I got. But I wanted to have a copy of them. And uh, so <clears throat> those were the highest views on the shorts. And uh, remember, I'm just showing, that's on knives that I bought this year. And so I had higher views on some other knives. But, um, you know, uh, some of these knives I haven't made videos on. Probably half of them I haven't made videos on them. And then... Um, so a lot of my videos are knives that I've had for years that I do uh, videos on. And so you got to kind of bear that in mind. All right. So finally, let's look at some of the ones I really like this year. Um, I really like this um, Marbles Exposition Grade because of the diamond checkering in it. That's just awesome. They did a fantastic job on that. Um, you don't see it. It's unusual to see a knife with a diamond check run. Um, I really like these Dirks. If you've never bought one, they're not very expensive. They were produced by Taylor Cutlery. And um, I think they were made in Japan. But um, just really well-made knives, guys. I mean, they're, uh, they're not fantasy knives. You can take that out and use it. Really well-made knives. And um, it's really cool to have in your collection a Dirk. Um, this Bulldog is one of the only ones I own, but it's just a fantastic example right here. This Bulldog from, again, Taylor Cutlery. Shrade. Genuine Stag. And really nice um, etch in there with coloring bear and um well-made knife you know uh just fantastic i love a bulldog blade on a knife i just only i think i only have one other one but um just fantastic um this rosecraft man you know these dragon scales on here are awesome and um the only one who really does work like this is Case. Case can do some really fantastic work with bone, but they've gotten kind of lazy. And um, this is just really unusual to find outside of Case, this kind of work. It's just a beautiful knife, and it's a well-made knife. So that's one of my uh, favorites right there. Um, this knife right here, this is... Uh, not showed this, I don't think. This is Genuine Ivory Inlaid Silver Braid Four Blade um, Swell Center Blue Nin Knife. This dates back to the um, between 1840 and 1860. I really think it's closer to 1840 based on the markings on this knife. And uh, I didn't pay a fortune to get this knife. I got it at a pretty reasonable price. So really special i love getting hold of knives like that uh what else um i really like that cracked um shredded carbon fiber that's really cool just cool cool looking this was really nice this i believe is another taylor cutlery knife let me check it yep taylor cutlery right there and um, another one produced out of Japan. Just beautiful. Look at that bone. And then uh, the engraving in it. Made in Japan. Really nice knife. I, I like that. There's so many, guys. There's so many. Um, this is a brand new one. 
And, uh, man, I just love that um, lightning strike anodization on this. And well-made knife, silky smooth, the mask is steel. Just a fantastic knife. And uh, best part of all, it didn't break the bank. As far as my modern folders, this is one of the, the lesser uh, expensed ones. And uh, I collect shreds, so I got some cool additions. This is a, a vintage utility knife from uh, Shred Walden Marked. So it dates back pre-1973 in perfect condition. This is a keen cutter. Uh, dates back to pre-1940. Beautiful bone on this. And it's in fantastic shape. Um, I got a... Really nice GEC this year. It's a Whittler. Really cool. Uh, what else? This one, pretty rare. You don't see these. It's a Schrade Walden four-bladed Congress knife. You hardly ever see these. These are pretty rare. And I'm uh, really fortunate to get a hold of this one right here. So I was excited to get that. I got a lot of views off of this knife here. It's an unusual hunting scene. He's up there shooting, and the dog has a pheasant in his mouth. That's pretty cool. Just so many, you know, good knives. And i um, really glad to get them. That uh, haven't done a video on it. This is just a beautiful, genuine stag knife. Um, you know, two-bladed... Uh, Opposite end jackknife. It's not a moose. It's just a two bladed opposite ended uh, knife. And uh, what else? Man, a lot. A lot of knives, guys. Anyhow, I'm going to let the video go. I just want to say this is my 2023 closeout. This, these are all knives that I got this year. Uh, some of the knives got bigger views, but I've had them in my collection a long time. But, um, I just really appreciate all your support of the channel. There's a lot of um, uh, content providers that have shared my videos, that have given me shout outs. I'm so thankful to them um, for spreading the word about my channel. I, I can tell it, you know, I have a big increase in my um, viewership and um, I appreciate all your comments. I, I read them all. I take them to heart. You give me suggestions. I use those suggestions. So uh, thanks for the comments. And, uh, you know, keep them coming. Don't be afraid to say something. If you disagree with me, fine. Nothing's written in stone in in uh, knife collecting. And, uh, you know, like uh, my wife laughs at me when I admit that I'm wrong. Because 99.9% .9 I'm, I'm right. You guys know how that is, right? Um but sometimes I am wrong, and I look at all of that, and I reevaluate it, and I'll come out and say, yeah, I got that wrong. And um, so I really appreciate all those comments that you make. And uh, thanks again. I hope you have a uh, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and a great New Year.